as you can see I got the Tyrone paper mill area done uh, I got all the track down and I got it spaced out pretty well um, I used balsa wood because I had this line around to measure between the tracks I basically just did this this is a good way to lay track if you have a specific um, width you want I laid this down and voila perfect and then the inside one is a little tighter because these two tracks are a little closer together than these two because of the angle of the switch so I just used this and as you can see that fits about perfect was fitting perfect but I got the Tyrone area done partly done I got the loop back started and and it's you know, pretty well down I, I gotta obviously put more nails in um, this is gonna be for the quarry I will probably have that done soon I actually had all this done two nights ago so this video is actually a little late so this will be the track where the um, loaded box cars will sit and then this track is where the empties sit you put the empties where the loads are you take the loads out so on and so forth this is the runaround track and the tank cars are sitting where they will sit and over here at the station this is the Tyrone station and this is about a 22 inch radius and the passenger cars fit just perfect. They just missed the station. They clear the station at a nice nice distance so it works about perfect. Well this is just a short update. Uh, so this is what I have done so far. I'm, I'm gonna put that down before Thanksgiving. I got the coal mine back there. I still have to do the inside loop soon but I'm at least getting things done even though it's a complete mess right now. I started to bring more freight cars into this room because I gotta start putting up the other layout in the other room. And then I'm gonna have the signal tower there, and I got the yard. I'm starting to put the yard down now too for the Altuna yard, as you can see. Uh, this will be the wherever I have it. The, oh, the freight depot. The freight depot will go here. The caboose track will be here, and it'll connect back in up here. Um, I got the yard done. This will be a runaround track. Or I get the yard done. I have the design for the yard done. This will be the runaround track. Uh, these two will be yard tracks. These two, two will be yard tracks. This switch will come out here and go to these two, which will be yard tracks. So I'll have a nice six track yard here along with a runaround track and um, more industries down there, probably. Obviously, Altoona works, and then back there will be uh, that's Falcon Manufacturing. What's it called? Oh, uh, Altoona Pipe and Steel, and the diesel fueling. And I'm starting to get things together. Horseshoe Curve will be probably not done for another month around Christmas time. I'll probably have that done, but I at least got Tyrone up and almost running. Uh, I just gotta put some power to it and I should have it running by hopefully by Thanksgiving if not uh, the day after but it's starting to take shape and I think it looks pretty good I should have another video sometime this weekend but I figured I'd do more progress updates on what I actually have done